What's up guys? <laughs> so uh, today we're looking at some kids toys. Uh, I ransacked a Dollar General. I was actually there for something completely unrelated. Just it was supposed to be a quick trip. And uh, somehow I ended in the toy aisle because I went down the wrong aisle because I was looking for something. I don't know where it was. And uh, I saw this guy. <laughs> this was sitting there in a box and I just kind of reached over and just played with the bolt and realized that the bolt worked. Thought it was really cool and uh, I wanted to buy it. So uh, these are going to go to my niece and nephew, but I definitely wanted to play with it myself. There's uh, no shame in adults wanting to play with toys. This is kind of a cool toy. So this is just a Nerf gun. I mean, all, all three of these are Nerf guns. They take these little darts, they have rubber tips, all right? But this one actually kind of works how I thought it would. You know, you open the bolt, you pop the, uh, the dart in there. I'm not going to do it right now because I'm not shooting it, all right? Close the bolt, and then you shoot it. It has a little spring action. Pretty cool. It has uh, an adjustable um, scope on top, so you can get the right eye relief. <laughs> the scope itself does come off. It is uh, blurry in there, but it does have crosshairs. I don't know. I just thought this was pretty darn neat. I thought it'd be fun for my uh, niece and nephew to play around with. And then I ended up getting um, the two little pistols, which aren't as cool to me, but... You know, uh, this is really, I'll tell you in a second why I got that, but uh, this is for my, my nephew. All right, so he has a couple uh, pistols to play with as well. But my, uh, my niece, um, she shot a real gun for the first time with her Uncle Jeff because uh, I asked uh, my sister and my brother-in-law if it'd be cool. Because, I mean, if I had kids, my kids would be shooting at four or five years old. Real guns. And I know that sounds absolutely irresponsible to some people, but... Under the proper circumstances and with the proper safety, there's nothing wrong with it whatsoever. All right. Um, but it's not my kids, so I have to respect my, my sister and my brother-in-law's wishes. And so now that she has double digits, um, you know, she's been uh, shooting a real gun. A cricket, which is actually made for children. And she loved it. We took her out once so far, and uh, she had a blast. It was me, and I mean, it was pretty much the whole family was there. Um, but she did really good. She hit the target. She was shooting at a steel target uh, probably 50 or 60 yards away and nailed the thing pretty quickly. Um, so because that's a little single shot bolt action rifle, I thought it'd be fun for her to practice uh, with this guy. All right. So that's really why uh, I got this thing. Uh, even though it's not really accurate at all, it just gets the, the mechanics down of, of, you know, using a bolt, loading, you know, things like that. So I thought that'd be kind of fun. Uh, and like I said, these things, these things are actually pretty powerful for what they are. I was playing with this before. And then this was a total random thing. Even though this entire thing was random, I saw this guy. This is a child's axe, a throwing axe. So, you know, it's like really popular to go to like, you know, places that you just throw axes for fun. It's like really, uh, I would say, um, available, like all across the U.S. It's super common now. Uh, you know, and like, hey, you want to go bowling? No, nah, you want to go throw axes? Yeah, sure. That was definitely not a thing like, you know, five or ten years ago, but now it's super popular. But anyway, so this one obviously, instead of having a blade, it has suction cups, all right? And I, I was throwing this around my house against my door and stuff, and it works great. It's, you know, blade heavy. It's foam. Unfortunately, it's super cheap foam, so I feel like eventually, because once this sticks to something, my, my nephew's a lot younger. I feel like he's, because I'm going to tell him to, you know, take it off with the uh, suction cups, but if he forgets and he grabs the handle and goes to, like, pull this off, it's not very strong. I, I foresee this breaking off at some point. But hey, if he gets a couple throws in, that's cool. Um, but it does actually work. You get a couple rotations in, and it, it just suction cups to all kinds of things. All right, so pretty neat, Zax. So, yeah, this was just kind of total impulse purchase from the dollar store in the kids section. Want to make this video because I think it can be a lot of fun. I've never really got into Nerf guns so much. I mean, when I was younger, I had a Nerf gun. I had water guns. I had all kinds of stuff like that. But I know there's, like, a huge, um, you know, hobby of Nerf guns, like actual Nerf brand Nerf guns, not these just rip off dollar store stuff. Uh, but I know some people get really into it and they could spend thousands of dollars on a bunch of different Nerf guns and equipment. I've seen like insane automatic, you know, extremely high rate of fire Nerf guns as well. Um, just like paintball guns and things like that. I mean, it's its own little hobby and I'm sure some people are into that. But uh, yeah, I don't know. I just wanted to share this, but it was kind of cool. Um, dollar General is one of those stores where like, for example, I saw, I, I showed a, uh, a fake little uh, pistol from there once, and someone asked me, like, hey, can you get that? I, I just don't see it at my Dollar General. I said, oh, I'll take a look, you know. 
and after talking to the uh, employee there, their toys are totally random. It's not consistent. Like, because I saw this at Dollar General, uh, you know, today, doesn't mean it's going to be there tomorrow. Doesn't mean it's going to be there next week. Especially around Christmas, they get all kinds of toys that they don't, don't normally get as well. So, you know, I, I'd love to say, hey, you know, if you want this, it's at Dollar General. But who knows? It may or may not be. Um, but it is kind of cool, though, is there's a little storage in the uh, butt end here for the, the little uh, the darts. All right. Our ammo. So, anyway, that was, uh, just like I said, total impulse purchase. So, you got to pull that spring back to load it up. So, it's just a little spring uh, action, which is obviously, you know, creating a little puff of air. That's what's shooting these things out. But uh, I thought this was pretty neat. <laughs> so, again, I'm, I'm just a giant child. And uh, if I didn't have an niece and nephew, buying these would seem stupid. But this way, I got to play with them a little bit. And now I get to pass them on to actual kids who it was meant for. <laughs> so... Anyway, let me know down in the comment section, do you have kids and have you bought toys that you wanted to play with just because you had the kids and if you didn't have the kids, you couldn't have gotten them before. I mean, you know, you could do whatever you want. You're an adult, um, but it's just a good excuse. You know what I'm saying? Like to spend the money on this, I'm glad it's going to go to my, my niece and nephew to, to play with. You know what I mean? Uh, I, if I didn't have them in my life, I didn't have any kids, then I really would have passed this up. I thought, oh, okay, it's cool, whatever. But it was totally awesome to uh, to play with them for a few minutes. And that's it. I'm over it. You know what I mean? But a few minutes of uh, joy, <laughs> definitely, out of some kids' toys. So that's all. Hopefully you guys have a great day. And I will see you tomorrow with a brand new video. Take care.